let the peace, love, and blessings of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The issues on love, everlasting gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, leader Olumba Olumba Obu, the supernatural teacher. First lesson, John chapter 1, verse 17. For the law was given by Moses, was but grace and the truth came by Jesus Christ. Second lesson, Matthew chapter 5, verses 39 to 40. But I say unto you, that ye resist not evil, but whosoever shall smite thee on thy right cheek, turn to him the other also. And if any man will sue thee to the law, and take away thy coat, let him have thy cloak also. Golden text, Romans chapter 13, verse 8. Oh, no man anything but to love one another. For he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. Quote, Brethren, the advice contained in this gospel has it that if you love our Lord Jesus Christ, you will practice his injunctions. But if you love the world and its fullness, you will also practice its injunction. Here in this kingdom, we practice the injunctions of our Lord Jesus Christ because we love him. It is now your option to make a choice. Moses brought the law. But our Lord Jesus Christ brought truth and grace. You should choose one. Our Lord Jesus Christ has made it clear to us that we should love those who hate us, bless them that curse us. And this is exactly what we are doing in this kingdom. This explains why we are told that brotherhood is not a church. It is not a healing home or prayer house but it is the kingdom of God where his words are preached and practiced to the letter. If the entire world were to abide by the laws of Moses, by now nobody could have survived up to this time. But our Lord Jesus Christ came with his teachings on love that we should love our enemies and bless those who hate us. These constitute our practice here in Brotherhood of the Cross and Star. Throughout your existence, you have to engage in doing that which is good. God teaches us to love one another, not to quarrel, nor to fight or hate, and that is what we are now practicing. We are not here to carry out any form of legislation or nor execution of any law. But we are here to practice the words of God in their sequence. So, if you practice the laws of Moses but fail to practice the, word, the words of God, it will amount to nothing. That is why you are told that this is the kingdom of God where all his injunctions are practiced. We are not saved by money or by wisdom or by food or clothes or, or, but by the word of God. Therefore, we should seek only the words of God and nothing else. Whoever practices the words of God is a child of God and that is the person God knows. You should realize that the peace, blessings, truth, eternal life, and the rest of the things that we are looking for revolve around practicing the word of God. 
I disagree with those who complain that the words of God are too numerous and are thus confusing for one to practice. It is not as numerous and confusing as one thinks. The fact is that we have only one God and the only injunction he asks us to do is to practice loving one another at all times and forgetting about hatred. Read the first lesson again. First lesson, John chapter 1 verse 13. For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Practice God's injunctions. When people talk about the record ministry, they are making reference to the documentation of the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ when he says, Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven, Matthew chapter 7 verse 21. What he actually meant is that only those who are able to practice his words by loving one another throughout their lifetime are worthy of him. Your daily attendance in a church does not make you a man of God, but it is only he who practices his words that belongs to him. We are not saying that we are good, neither are we, neither do we claim to do anything good, but all what we focus our attention on is that we have to love one another, we have to do good works, be devoid of hatred and relent not our effort and relent not our efforts in practicing his injunction we do not claim to possess the wisdom of god neither do we claim to have done anything unto god but we have got only one thing and that is practicing the word of god which also advises us not to wage war against our enemies, that if we are struck on one cheek, we should turn the other. Our mission is not to teach nor recite any ballad here, for the one who had the job of recitation has already done it and has made it clear to us that we should not resist an evil door, but we should love one another. And this is exactly what we are doing here. So we are following the one that salvaged us. But if not for the words that he dispatched unto us, the whole world would have before this time perished. The teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ have brought light unto mankind. We examine the second lesson again. Second lesson, Matthew chapter 5, verses 39 to 40. But I say unto you that ye resist not evil, but whosoever shall smite thee on thy right cheek, turn to him the other also. And if any man will sue thee at the law and take away thy coat, let him have thy cloak also. They are all mark of God's children. That which dwells in brotherhood of the cross and star is the word of God, because this is the kingdom of God. Hence, we are sustained by Nothing else apart from the word of God. Beloved, 
The only thing you have to do is to hear the word of God and practice it. As he has told us to turn the other cheek to whosoever might strike us on one cheek, to love them that hate us, to tell the truth to whosoever tells you a lie, and so on, these are the injunctions that you have to follow throughout your lifetime. That is the identification mark of brotherhood of the cross and star as known by the people of the world. They are aware of the fact that brotherhood members always try to do good works, that we do not tell lies and that we are very effective and sincere in whatever we do. Our Lord Jesus Christ made it clear that he speaks not out of his own volition, but all that he speaks come from the Father and constitute eternal life. It is on this note that we, in brotherhood, do not speak out of our own volition, but only concentrate on the words of God, and it is only his word that we practice. We are all children of God, for we are the prophets of old who have come back to stay with him. Therefore, the watchword of our Lord Jesus Christ is to practice his word. Brotherhood of the Cross and Star is not a society or a newly established church. And we do not practice any other teaching apart from that of our Lord Jesus Christ. You should not be deceived by anybody because our Lord Jesus Christ had made it clear to us in John chapter 8, in John chapter 10 verse 8, that all that came before him were thieves and robbers. Thus, the sheep did not hear them. This is why we do not recognize any other voice. We do not practice any other person's advice apart from the instruction of our Lord Jesus Christ and the Father. Whosoever you love, same will you keep his injunctions and emulate this thus in this fold we keep God's instructions because we love him brotherhood of the cross and star does not originate from Israel or from Rome or from America or Europe or Africa or Nigeria nor any part of the world but from God Therefore, we abide by the instructions of God only. And all those who abide by his instruction of eternal life, because his voice is life, as well as every good thing that one can think of. Hence, if you do not abide by his words, you should pray fervently for yourself. In this kingdom, Irrespective of people's ages, our duty is to keep God's injunction. Consider the conversation between the Samaritan woman and our Lord Jesus Christ as recorded in John chapter 4 verses 20 to, verses 20 to 23. It says, Our fathers worship in this mountain and he said, that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. Jesus said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh, when ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. Ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers of 
when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. And Adaj has it that when an innuendo touches on a person's character or deed, he reacts. The above excerpt is directed to brother out of the cross and star. For this is the kingdom of God, it is the word of God, it is love, it is truth, and the grace of God. So, the entire world is brotherhood, and whosoever claims not to be a brotherhood is a wasting, is a wasting his, is wasting his or her time, and does not equally know himself. Whosoever does not practice the word of God as neither the Father nor the Son, but all those who practice the word of God possesses both the Father and the Son. Read the golden text again. Golden text, Romans chapter 13 verse 8. Oh no man anything but to love one another, for he that loveth another art fulfill the law. Love one another. The word of God needs neither academic knowledge or the ability to speak English language nor any other power apart from loving one another. This does not imply a situation where you love one and that one reciprocates. We have been enjoined to owe no man anything but to love one another. For he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. Therefore, throughout your lifespan, you must continue to love one another. We are also told that even if we sell all that we possess and feed the poor as well as give our bodies to be burnt in fire, if we have no love, it profit us nothing. So let us be steadfast in this love and stop looking for vision. Abide by his injunction and do not hate or wage war against your enemies. Abide in peace with everyone and also love one another this instruction is from God the release of Barabbas recall the stinging question from Pilate during the crucifixion of our Lord Jesus Christ he asked whom will he that I release unto you Barabbas or Jesus which is called Christ Matthew chapter 27, verse 17. To this question, all the Jews echoed, Release Barabbas and crucify Jesus. They said Barabbas was a politician and the offense he committed was murder. He was a wealthy man as well as a Confucianist. On the other hand, our Lord Jesus Christ was just a man. A God-fearing person. He abided by the instructions of God. Through which. He did many good works. But when the question was thrown. Unto the Jews concerning. Who was to be released. At the expense of the other. They all requested for the release of Barabbas. And when Pontius Pilate demanded for the reason, they answered nothing, but instead, but insisted that Barabbas should be released while our Lord Jesus Christ should be crucified. This explains the reason he consoled us by telling us that if the world hates us, we should realize that she had already hated him. He also made it clear that 
if the world had loved him, he would also have loved us. But since the world did not love him, she will never love us. Right now, we are not interested in whether the world loves us or not. The outstanding assignment before us is to love one another and to practice all the injunctions of God. Let us allow, let us not allow anything to distract us from our Lord Jesus Christ or our attention from practicing the words given to us by God. Christ brought grace and truth. It has now been made clear to us that all that at first Moses brought the law, but the grace and truth came through our Lord Jesus Christ. Furthermore, we are also reminded that we should not resist any evildoer, that whosoever shall smite us on the right cheek, we should turn to him the left also, and whosoever will sue us at the law and take away our coat, we should also give our cloak also. Finally, the Lord has instructed us to owe no man anything but to love one another, for he that love one another has fulfilled the law. Beloved, I do not intend to tell you the history of the word of God, but if you should read Acts chapter 28 verses 15 to 29, you would realize what I am telling you. Here is Acts chapter 28, verses 15 to 29. It says, And from thence, when the brethren heard of us, they came to meet us as far as Appii Forum and the Tree Tavern, when, whom, when Paul saw, he thanked God and took up and took courage. And when we came to Rome, the centurion delivered the prisoners to the captain of the guard. But Paul was suffered to dwell by himself with a soldier that kept him. And it came to pass that after three days, Paul called the chief of the Jews together. And when they were come together, he said unto them, Men and brethren, Though I have committed nothing against the people or customs of our fathers, yet was I delivered prisoner from Jerusalem into the hands of the Romans, who, when they had examined me, would have let me go, because there was no cause of death in me, but when the Jews spake against it, I was constrained to appeal unto Caesar, not that I had ought to accuse my nation of. For this cause, therefore, have I called for you to see you and to speak with you, because that for the hope of Israel I am bound with this chain. And they said unto him, We neither receive letters out of Judea concerning thee, neither any of the brethren that came should, should or speak any harm of thee. But we desire to hear of thee what thou thinkest. For as concerning this sect, we know that everywhere it is spoken against. And when they had appointed him a day, there came many unto him into his lodging, to whom he expounded and testified the kingdom of God, persuading them concerning Jesus, both out of the law of Moses and out of the prophets from morning till evening 
and some believed the things which he was spoke, which were spoken, and some believed not. And when they agreed not amongst themselves, they departed. After that, Paul had spoken one word. Well spoke the Holy Ghost by Isaiah the prophet unto our fathers, saying, Go unto this people and say, Hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and not perceive. For the heart of this people is wax grows, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes have they closed, lest they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I should heal them. Be it known therefore unto you that the salvation of God is sent unto the Gentiles, and that they will hear it. And when he had said these words, the Jews departed, and had great reasoning amongst themselves. Brethren, recall what our brother Paul said. The truth about the world is that once you are the type that abides by the word of God and also love him, they will hate you. This has been in existence from, from time immemorial. Saul, who became Paul, and the responsibility. No. Saul, who became Paul, he had the responsibility of killing God's minister. At that time, the people of the world loved him, and none intervened in his actions. Even when Saul, who later became Paul, traveled from Jerusalem to Damascus, to ban the disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ from preaching Christ. None cared to ask him not to carry out such act. But right from the time God called Saul, who became Paul, and he started ministering in his name, the love which people had for him worn off. So, Whenever you come in contact with the people of the world, even if they are blaspheming the name of God or doing whatsoever they think fit against God, do not argue with them, but continue to preach the truth unto them. Tell them that we should owe no man anything other than love, this instruction should be a perfect guide for you. It should be your helmet. It should be your garment. It should be your boot. And indeed, everything in life. Make it a point of duty to put it into practice because it has peace. It has love. It has patience. And all the good things from God. Beloved, a stroke of the cane is enough for the wise. Let you who has ears hear what the Holy Spirit has departed to the entire world. May God bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.